everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here <laughs> with hair in my face with Angel Souls. It's our day of the card reading for November 2nd, 2021. And we are dangerously close to me having to take my face off camera because my face. Oh, she hates whatever this allergen is in the world right now, or at least my portion of the world. Oh, it's never ending. It, it's, you know, anyway. All right, let's see what we have going on for today. One more, I think, shall do it. I'm seeing the color light blue, like light blue, something that looks like blue lace agate. And then I see gold as well. Let's see. Let go of fear now. Look at this. It says, Archangel Michael, please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic, or ego-based thoughts or feelings. And that includes having to take that from other people. Okay. So let go of fear of success. Let go of fear of being yourself. I mean, that's kind of a trend of a message that's coming up here. Don't be afraid to speak your truth. And, uh, but I'm also getting the feel only speak your truth to people who are going to respect it. Don't keep chasing after bad energy. You know what I'm saying? So let go of that fear. You do not need to cower <laughs> under the presence of bullies, right? You don't have to cower with a domineering boss that like, you know, you come in every day, maybe whether or not you have a good day is dependent upon whether the boss approves of you. I've been there. I know that feeling. Although, you know, I look back and I'm like, I had some good bosses. I had some really nice bosses who were pretty cool with me, but I was just so like, now I want a different career because I can't work for people, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I can, but <laughs> I was meant to do this. But don't be afraid of making that next move. So there could be something coming up today. Maybe it's an offer. Maybe it's a fight. Maybe it is someone asking you on a date. Always be discerning. Uh, maybe it is whatever. Some bit of information comes to you. And because it's you stepping out of your comfort zone, that's another huge that's a huge feeling that's coming through. And it almost has this feeling of like, I've been waiting for that, wanting it, wishing for it. And here it is. And you're like, oh, wait, for real? For real? Like, what do I do with this? And then you, you know, you might be backpedaling. You might be tempted to just say, no, no, no. Now, if you don't feel like something's safe and you want to say no, that's one thing. But if someone's coming up, for example, I used to do this all the time when I was younger. Someone would come up and they had interest in me. And I don't know what it was. I just thought a relationship was going to get in the way of my life, which is terrible. I'm like, I got stuff to do. And also I was afraid of being hurt. I had come from lots of dynamics that had me thinking certain ways of myself. And I thought it was only a matter of time before this doesn't work out. And I don't want to deal with that. And so for years, I just kind of pushed it aside, pushed it aside, pushed it aside. But it actually benefited me. Uh, I let go of the fear and finally faced what my patterns were. And then, you know, allowing myself to recover. So this, it's that kind of thing. So face whatever comes up, look at whatever opportunities come to you and let it flow. All right. We're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.